I'm special, I'm me, by Ann Meek and Sarah Massini. Milo looked in the mirror and sighed a big sigh. Come on, Milo, we're going to be late, called Mom up the stairs. Milo pressed his nose right up against the cool glass. What am I going to be today, he whispered to himself. At school, Milo and his friends were playing a jungle game. Please, can I be the lion? asked Milo. No, said Clear. You're not strong enough to be king of the jungle. So Milo was a very sad monkey. The next day, the children were playing pirates. Please, can I be the captain, asked Milo. No, said Ben, you're too short. The captain has to be tall. So Milo had to be a deckhand. What's wrong, asked Mom that evening. I wish I was tall like a pirate captain, said Milo. I think you're just perfect, said Mom. Just right for climbing to the top of the sails to be the lookout. Wow, said Milo, smiling. I never thought of that. The next day, the children were playing princes and princesses. Please, can I be a prince, asked Milo. No, said Jason. The prince is handsome like me. So Milo was an unhappy knight. Later that afternoon, Milo gazed into the mirror. Hello there, Milo, said Mom. Who can you see looking back at you? I see a knight, said Milo. Terrific, said Mom. All that shining armor, and you must be brave, because only the bravest men are chosen to be knights. Really, said Milo, a little surprised. Definitely, said Mom. Cool, said Milo, pretending to fight a dragon. The next day, the children were playing spacemen and aliens. I'd like to be an astronaut, said Milo, excited. No, said Eloise. Astronauts can't wear glasses because their helmets won't fit. So Milo was a little green alien. Back home, Milo gazed at his reflection in the mirror. Do I look like an alien, he asked. You look just like you, said Mom. Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth, but different from everyone else. And that's what makes you special. That's what makes you my Milo. Mom put her arms around him. And anyway, aliens are so lucky to be able to bounce around in space, speaking a secret alien language. That's true, Milo smiled. Bling, bling, yuk, yuk, he said, bouncing around his bedroom, trying to catch his mom. The next day, the children were playing under the sea. I'm going to be a shark, said Alex. I know what I'm going to be, said Milo. I think I'd be a good stingray, hiding in the sand and swimming out to surprise people. I could make them jump. The children all stared at Milo. Great idea, said Ben. Brilliant, said Claire. Can I be one too? asked Alex. Milo smiled from ear to ear and all the children played stingrays under the sea for the rest of the day. That was a great game, Milo, said Ben. Let's play it again tomorrow. Milo smiled the brightest smile he had ever smiled. 
When he got home that day, Milo looked carefully into his mirror to see if he had changed in any way, but of course he had it. Mom was right, he said. I can be whatever I want to be. I'm me. And in the mirror, Milo's reflection looked back with a huge beaming smile. The end.